At this point, Ring's got more video doorbells than my Uncle Denny's got fingers. Yes, the Ring 4 is the company's 10th video doorbell, and we're gonna review it right now. Ring is a super popular company with a lot of political baggage, and that kind of makes it a pain in the ass to tease apart. So first we're gonna start off by talking about what you're getting with the Ring 4. Then we're gonna talk about how it stacks up against the competition. Then finally, we're gonna talk about if its cool features are enough to overcome a messy history with privacy and police partnerships. If you're just looking at hardware, it's a wireless $200 video doorbell with a bunch of cool little perks. It's got 1080p resolution, two-way talk, rich notifications, and a removable battery and charger. In short, it's what you'd expect at this point. The two standout features are quick replies and the full color pre-roll. Quick replies let you select from a list of pre-programmed responses that play when somebody rings the doorbell. Think for no contact deliveries or if you're just trying to avoid someone. Dave! Sorry, we're not interested. What? Hi, please wait. It may take me a moment to answer. God, Dave. Please leave the package outside. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. What? Package, Dave, I work here. Open the door. I do wish that I could record my own personal quick replies for more specific situations, like telling my neighbor to scram, but for now the feature is cool as is. The full color pre-roll is a nice little security feature. If the camera picks up a disturbance, it doesn't just start recording, it also retrieves the moments before the event so that you get the full sequence on camera. That can be really helpful, and it's on fewer video doorbells than you'd expect. Okay, the Ring 4 is a solid gadget, but how does it compare to the competition? Well, let's look at the most obvious competitor, the Arlo Essential Wire-Free Video Doorbell. This is the wireless version of our favorite video doorbell. They're both 200 bucks, they both cost three bucks per month for their full smart features and cloud storage, they're both wireless and offer pretty smart notifications, although Ring can't tell the difference between packages and people like Arlo's cams can. There's one more big thing that Arlo has over Ring, the aspect ratio. No, 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 stay with me. Listen, the aspect ratio actually really matters, and I can show you why. Okay, why do you want a video doorbell? Seriously, it's not a trick question. It's so you can see people who ring your doorbell, chat with them from your couch or maybe while you're away from home. Maybe so you can see packages that get delivered, right? But here's the thing. Most video doorbells, Ring's newest one included, have this wide angle lens that shows you all this stuff to the sides, but cuts off the top and bottom of the image. And if a delivery person drops a package right by your doorstep, your doorbell probably won't even see it. Here's why. While the Ring 4 boasts a 160 degree angle lens, it only sees 84 degrees vertically. Compare that to an Arlo video doorbell, which has a 180 degree viewing angle horizontally and vertically, and suddenly you realize the difference. You can see all the most important stuff, which is mostly above and below the doorbell, not to the sides. I honestly don't get why Ring doesn't offer this feature. Well, I take that back because they actually do have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio on their Pro 2 from earlier this year, but that costs 250 bucks. I mean, come on, I can get that same feature for less than half the price from Arlo's video doorbell. Come on, Ring, why? I, I genuinely don't understand. Speaking of things that are hard to understand, I guess now's as good a time as any to talk about Ring's privacy and police problems. I just wish there was some convenient way to catch you up in, I don't know, a hundred seconds or less. Previously, on Ring's privacy problems. Just admit it, Ring. You're transforming neighborhoods into surveilled spaces. You're degrading privacy for our whole society. Now, we're just working tirelessly to stop criminals and thieves and make safer neighborhoods for our families to live in. But there's not even real evidence that your doorbells are reducing crime rates. Well, if you actually just pop on over to our website, you can see real clips of Ring video doorbells stopping porch pirates in their steps. Okay, fine. But what about when you were getting police to help sell your products and then you give them access to a better surveillance apparatus? Is that it? <laughs> we don't do that anymore. And even when we did, it was more so an ask than really a requirement. Damn it, Ring! You're enabling police overreach and you know it! Hey, we take the privacy and security of our customers very seriously. I'll take you seriously! Take a walk, detective. Tell it to me straight, Ring. 
You know the Neighbors app is facilitating racial profiling. We both read the articles. We removed the suspicious activity tag from the app and added some no racism rules, but what do you want us to do? Stop partnering with police forces and helping customers share footage of public spaces online? Bingo. Okay, in all seriousness though, Ring really does have a problem. Video doorbells transform public space into recorded space, and Ring goes a step further by giving police an apparatus by which to access those recordings. Given the last year of well-documented police abuse, it makes buying into the Ring ecosystem kind of a complicated question. And it's made more complicated because even if you aren't comfortable getting a Ring doorbell on your own porch, that won't stop your neighbor from making the decision to get a Ring doorbell, and that kind of makes the decision on behalf of you and your whole neighborhood. Ring hasn't solved its police problems because facilitating the sharing of footage with police is still an integral part of its business. Frankly, it's a selling point. It's impossible to separate the Ring 4 from the company that made it, and for that reason, I'm still hesitant to recommend it too strongly. My biggest problem is that really narrow 84 degree viewing angle that cuts off packages left at your doorstep, especially when you compare it to the competition. For me, the aspect ratio is pretty important, and Ring's political baggage tips me even more confidently in that direction. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to CNET. If you're one of the commenters who asked me very nicely to trim my beard last time, congrats, it's gone, along with my dream of becoming a narcotics detective, discovering corruption in my department, getting shot in the parking lot, being saved by an Amish community, going and living with that Amish community, being accepted as part of that Amish community, and then finally leaving a changed man to go and uncover that corruption for the rest of the world.